I'm not telling you that. You've got to watch the show. <laughs> Vanderpump Villa is a curated luxury experience. It's not just a hotel. It's a fantasy. All my staff has to do is execute my wishes. Oh my goodness, to me it's totally different. And I understand that people draw a comparison because they work for me, but this is an immersive experience where I'm living with them, they're all living together, they're not an existing group of friends. Because Vanderpump Rules, you know, I always had a lot of people working for me, but I chose to make that show about this group of friends that have known each other for years. And this is not that. There's a couple of people that know each other, a couple of people that have worked for me, but... Um, you know, it's about their journey to the French countryside, how they deal with living with each other, how they deal being in the middle of, of nowhere, so to speak, um, in beautiful surroundings, but also hosting proper guests that are coming to celebrate important moments of their life. So on Band of Pump Rules, you don't really see anything like that. So it is very different, but it's also me pulling my hair out, <laughs> trying to organize everybody and, and some of the shit hitting the fan. <laughs> There's some problems amongst the staff, to be honest. Marciano and I, we like hooked up. As long as you can assure me, your relationship does not affect my business. Marciano is kissing a guest. She's not Marciano kissing a girl. No, he's different. He's different to Jax. He's definitely different. Yeah, he's a bit of a naughty boy, but no, he's definitely different to Jax, thankfully. You know, I, honestly, I, I I take it as a compliment. I am not gonna say anything poorly about Jax, but I would like to think I'm a better version of Jax. I'm Jax 2.0, okay? <laughs> Jax 2.0. Uh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> but I, I think if there was a comparison to be made, I think that that would be the closest comparison, that's for sure. And I, I, I'm okay with it. I think it's, it's fairly fitting, it's fairly. I actually came to, you know, be pretty close to all of them. Um, and it, it was a unique experience, but no, I can't draw comparisons to other people. You know, mm -hmm. every single person is individual. And I don't think you'll say, oh gosh, that's another. Definitely Hannah and Marciano were a little bumpy. They assured me that they were done. They worked together every night. You're gonna see it on the show. I did not work this hard to have these little whippersnappers screw it up. It was about hospitality. It was about them creating this idyllic environment. But I know, and I've also run a small hotel, the back of house often crosses over to the front of house. Now, I wanted a group of characters that were gonna make the chateau fun. We were also creating a television show. Everybody had to be authentically, you know, good at their job. We couldn't say, have, oh, you look nice, you're good at television, you go and be a housekeeper. No, they had to be absolutely uh, top notch at their job because we hit the ground running. Um, but yes, it definitely got complicated. But, you know, it's interesting. You see all the dynamics and machinations change. People mm -hmm. that just would never, ever be together, you know, living together are suddenly like literally. Yeah. And that was, uh, that was good fun. It was good fun to watch, but it was also hard to deal with. Lisa has called an emergency meeting. This is a business. I don't know what you think we're doing here, but I'm telling you now, this could actually take the whole thing down. Um, I think you're going to see a group of people that really genuinely care about their job and everyone truly wants to get the job done and, and impress Lisa. Um, but hey, if some people can't cut it, they can't cut it, including myself. Um, I think, you know, we were very lucky for the experience and lucky for Lisa. And if we don't get the job done, Lisa, you know, she, she, she can find somebody else. That's for sure. She can easily find somebody else. Listen, I'll tell you what, my tolerance level had to be a little different when you're in the middle of the countryside and you have a job and a position that needs to be filled. It's not like being in West Hollywood. You can say, you know what? You're suspended. You're out of here. Hey, you take over. There was nobody else to take over. I mean, everybody predicted that when they got married, didn't they? So oh, this won't last long. But I kind of never like to draw conclusions. I know a lot of people say it's inevitable, but when I walked down the aisle 42 years ago, everybody shook their head and said this will never last. 
Ken being a bad boy in London and 16 years older than me, but, and there we have it. So it's always kind of, you go into it totally optimistic. I, I don't know what the reason was, but um, I imagine it was probably something to do with Jax's bad behavior, but I, I'm not sure. But, you know, the indicator of future behavior is normally past behavior. Um, but it's a shame when they have a child. It's, you know, being married isn't easy. And there's always so many options in Hollywood and excuses and, and their egos involved. It, it's not easy. I think nearly everybody I know that was married on reality television has separated, except... Yeah. Ken and I.